So this is a very simple, straightforward coverage concept for four on four play in the defensive zone, in our own zone. Left wing is obviously playing on the left side. Left defense is on the left side. Right wing is on the right side. Right defense is on the right side. Simple, right? At least in terms of left and right. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. But if you're ever not sure, if you're ever stuck about how far a forward should come down into the zone or how far up a defense should come up into the zone, in our zone, the general guideline is that most of the time forwards never come below this hash mark and defense do not come above the hash mark. Now, in reality, it looks a little bit more like, now I think a Venn diagram would be the best way to describe it. And I'm gonna try my best to draw it here, where you have a winger, let's say you have your right on this side, you have your right wing, you have your left wing, you have your left D and your right D. <clears throat> now this winger here, has, let's say, that responsibility there. This left winger is going to have this responsibility there. Notice an overlap there between the wingers. Then the D is going to have responsibility basically up to about there. And this D is going to have the same responsibility to right around there. Again, there's overlap here in the middle, overlap here along the hash marks. That's where communication is quite important. The point being, again, if you're stuck, if you're really not sure, <clears throat> again, hash marks is the best guideline forwards. If you're not sure, you try not to go below the hash marks. Defense, if you're not sure, try not to go above the hash marks. The whole point here is to not chase around the play, not chase around the puck everywhere. Stay on your side as much as you can and stay within your quadrant as much as you can.